Thank you very much for joining me and taking the time to subscribe and leave your comments on these videos. I love this weather community. I want to get right into this and a scenario that we may see some similarities to next week. This is Wrong Way Lenny, an historic hurricane that hit back in 1999 in November in the Caribbean, one of the strongest in the Caribbean in the month of November. Now, let me show you what happened and what we could see across the Caribbean as we work our way into next week. First thing, the track of Lenny. Now, usually these things start somewhere out here uh, and then kind of march across into the Caribbean, but Lenny actually started over here and it worked its way this way. That sometimes happens in November, so coming at us in a different direction, and we could see some of that by the time we get into next week. This is a spot I'm gonna watch. By the middle of next week, a lot of the models have been hinting at some development out here. Uh, no guarantee there's gonna be development. Uh, we're not seeing that likelihood getting higher at this point, but there could be some development right in here. And then if this develops into a, a tropical storm or hurricane, which is a potential, it could kind of shoot either to the north or much like Lenny did and work its way back to the east. So let me show you what I'm seeing here and why this is as we go out in time. Now the European model is not showing a whole lot of development out of this, but it is hinting at some development later next week. So it's this area we're watching here. Here's Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, again, thank you for sharing the information. Flash flood warnings are out again in spots today, watching out for the likelihood of some flooding. Dominican Republic watching that. Here is Florida, Bahamas, Cuba, Yucatan, we get toward Belize. This is by the time we get into the weekend. So by Sunday, you see the increased moisture here, central and into the western sections of the Caribbean. Now, the European model not showing any development through the weekend, so we're good there. High concern for some flooding, and even over toward Guyana and Trinidad and Tobago, we could see some uh, flooding in spots with just a surge of moisture. But this is by the time we work our way into next week. So this would be by Tuesday. Still a lot of rain here, anywhere from Jamaica back toward uh, the Yucatan, overall Central America watching this. But this time of year, it's not like the summer. We have a lot of fronts. So we have one front in here. So what tries to form down here may actually get caught up into this front and move this way. Now, this is by the middle of next week and into uh, the following weekend. So we're talking uh, a week from now or a week and a half from now, uh, the European model hinting at a spin up in here. Plenty of time to monitor that. But with these fronts, what happens is this time of year, sometimes they grab these areas and swing them back into this direction. So we may have something try to develop in the Western Caribbean and then kind of hook its way back toward either Jamaica, Haiti, Dominican Republic, or Puerto Rico, keeping a very close eye on the scenario. So again, not seeing uh, imminent development. It's not a guarantee, but there are some subtle signs that something may try to develop. And if it does, much like Lenny, that could work its way back into this direction. Now what's playing uh, into the favor of development and not in the good sense of the term, we don't want anything to develop, but the water temperature is right in here, right around 30 degrees Celsius, 84, 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Plenty warm for something to develop Develop. But on the good side of things, there's still going to be a lot of wind shear. This is the middle of next week. You see a little spin trying to form down here, uh, but there's plenty of wind shear that would kind of make it very difficult for it to develop, at least in the short term. But some of the wind shear may relax for a brief period of time later next week to allow something to spin up and then shoot back off toward the east or up to the north. Let me show you that in the, uh, I wanna get into the American model in a second, at least on the short term with what we're seeing. Now, short term, we are seeing some of the rain and storms again near the US Virgin Islands, British Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico. We've seen the uptick in rain. Uh, we get a little bit of a closer look. You see it in here. So some moisture building in here, scattered showers and storms today. Guyana, we'll see that in Trinidad and Tobago. And then we'll just see moisture kind of building in the Caribbean and then a wait and see to see if things do develop. Out here, not a whole lot in the Eastern Pacific. You see these fronts kind of streaming in some of the moisture back toward parts of Mexico and Texas. Rain chance not too terribly high though for much of Texas where we do need to get some rain. So here's the American model in the short term. Again, not showing some development, but you see here the rain showing the scattered showers and storms. The American model does a very good job short term. Long term, it always shows some sort of giant disaster. So we take that stuff with a uh, grain of salt, but you can see again, as we work our way into our Friday, scattered showers and storms. Puerto Rico, get the word out, more flooding will be possible today, tomorrow, 
even into the upcoming weekend. By the weekend, you see the rain picking up Panama and then Trinidad and Tobago, Grenada, St. Vincent of the Grenadines, right on the edge of St. Lucia and Barbados. There is still some of the rain near Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic. Some of this may get back toward the Turks and Caicos, uh, but no signs of development through the weekend. Now, the American model does want to spin this up into a tropical storm or hurricane next week. Oh, wait and see. We'll see how things kind of uh, shake out with the wind shear. You know what? I'm on top of it for you. European model showing some slow signs of development deeper into next week, but the rain chance, Trinidad and Tobago, it's going to go up. Saturday, we get some increased moisture. We're going to have that chance of flooding. Grenada, rain chance tomorrow and Saturday, up to a 60% chance in building St. Vincent and the Grenadines. That moisture will be around. Barbados, scattered showers and storms, a little more isolated today and then scattered about. 30% chance today in St. Lucia, but a 40 to 50% chance tomorrow and Saturday. Martinique, uh, we're going to see about a 40% chance right through Martinique, and then we get back through uh, uh, Dominica. Rain chance isolated the next couple of days, bumping up a notch as we work our way into Saturday. Same thing in Guadeloupe. 20% chance today in Belize. Scattered showers and storms will start to return. We've had a little break in some spots. Jamaica isolated, but again, monitoring mid to late next week to see if we do have any development around. Same thing as we get back through the Cayman Islands. Rain chance holding on to a 20% chance in the Bahamas. Better chance southern zones by the Turks and Caicos with some of that moisture. Aruba, we could see a few spotty showers over the next few days. As we get back through Curacao, a 30% chance today and or tomorrow and Saturday. And again over toward uh, Bonaire. Rain chance picking up some in Haiti. We'll watch out for some isolated river flooding. Heads up in Haiti, some scattered showers and storms. And then just off toward the east, a better chance. Look at tomorrow in the Dominican Republic, a 70% chance. We could get some quick runoff. That could lead to some more of that river flooding. Puerto Rico, of course. Well, not for all of us, but we are watching out for some areas of really heavy rain. Again, please use those precautions. Flash flood warnings are up in spots in Puerto Rico. British and U.S. Virgin Islands staying active. Another 60% chance today. Keep me posted in the comments. 30% chance the next uh, couple days, Antigua and Barbuda. A 30% chance today and tomorrow, St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat. And about a 30% chance for today in Anguilla and St. Bart's. We're looking at a 40% chance for today. St. Martin, St. Anastasia, a 30% chance for tomorrow. Mainly dry over the next couple days of Bermuda, and then we'll see another front nearby. Yucatan, not a whole lot. All eyes on what may try to develop off toward the east. Turks and Caicos, some scattered showers and storms around, especially tomorrow and Saturday. 20% chance in Cuba. Not a lot of action around. Uh, Costa Rica, we'll see the rain chances see by Saturday, picking up back to about a 60% chance. Northern Venezuela, we're holding on to about a, a 30, 20, 30, 40% chance. Guyana, some of us got some welcome rain yesterday and last night. Keep me posted on your end. A 20% chance as we get into Suriname. So again, it's, it's getting busy out there. I expect it to actually get busier as we get into later this month. We could see that development mid-month as we get into the mid-portions of next week. We'll see if it lifts up to the north quickly, gets caught into a front, or just kind of drifts back, much like Lenny did. Either way, watching out for those areas of flooding like Puerto Rico. We have that ongoing now. And then I do expect us to see surges of moisture and the potential of tropical development mid to late month, a busy end of the hurricane season. I had a little bit of a break, but now we could start to see some development. 21 days left uh, in the hurricane season. So again, lots to track to see if this system does develop. I'll keep you posted. Have a great rest of your day.